Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for Capricorn. We have the Tower, Scorpio Energy. We have the Seven of Pentacles. I'm kind of already getting that the way that someone thought things were going to be isn't what it's turning out to be. The way that maybe you saw the future of this situation being, it's not that. Or somebody's realizing that they won't, things won't turn out the way that they thought they were going to turn out or something like that. And this is very shocking. This is very unexpected um, for possibly the masculine because we have the emperor here, Aries energy. We have the three of wands. Clarify the tower, the five of swords. Clarify the seven of pentacles, the four of pentacles. Yeah, I kind of, it's like somebody was holding on to a certain outcome, a certain idea, trying to hold on to you, thinking that they were going to have a future with you or something like that. Something is happening and somebody is viewing it as a betrayal. Hmm. Clarify the emperor. The two of cups. Okay, what's the three of wands? And the nine of swords. See, somebody is thinking that something that they thought was going to happen in the future or something that they thought was going to manifest in the future, they're worried that that's no longer the case. It's like someone's grieving over the future that they thought that they were going to have or the outcome that they thought that they were going to have in a situation with you or this is how you're feeling. It's like somebody thought that in the long run that y'all would be together or something like that or they thought that in the long run. But see... Or, and for some of you, they're having a tower moment because their their lies and manipulation didn't work on you. Or they thought that they had manipulated you, manipulated you or whatever. It's almost like they're, they're, they're feeling betrayed by you. Their ego is bruised because they thought that they had you under some type of control. And they don't. This, per, they, this person feels played. Or they feel like they played themselves. Or they feel like they weren't seeing the truth of a situation. Now they're seeing it. It's like this person was in a delusion. Yeah, that's what this is. Mm-hmm. Their ego is bruised because they thought that they had gotten you under control playing some type of mind games. For some of you, they thought that they could get away with some type of betrayal or something here that they did. Manipulation. They thought this is really somebody that thought that y'all would be together in the future. And now they're stressed out because they don't know what the future holds for the two of you. So tell me more. Or this is how you feel. We have the Knight of Swords. So maybe they feel like they need to come in and say something to you. The King of Pentacles could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn energy. Maybe they feel like they need to hurry up and like be loyal to you, secure, like do something to secure you, give you something stable, take things seriously. See, because we have waiting. They were waiting to give this to you or something like that. The lovers and the devil. Somebody could still be in some type of... Um, Either they thought you were going to keep doing this toxic dynamic with them or they're still, somebody is in a relationship, in a toxic relationship. We have the Ace of Swords. That what? I, t I swear somebody thought that you were waiting on them and that you were attached to them. That's crazy. But they're starting to realize now that, yeah, they're learning a lesson because this person really thought that you were, they really thought <laughs> you were waiting on them, that they had secured you that you were attached to them. They kind of maybe thought you were obsessed with them. Like, or they just thought this connection between the two of you was so strong that you weren't going anywhere. What's the eight of swords? Now they kind of feel like they're in a situation that they feel like they maybe can't get themselves out of or something like that. Eight of swords. Or they're really stuck up in their head about you. The eight of wands and the cold as ice giving you mixed signals. What about the cold as ice? The page of wands and the money focus. So somebody could have been hot and cold with you because it was something going on. Like they would try to be, do something with you a little bit and then they had something going on with money or they could have like been trying to hop between a situation that they were in for money and you. But yeah, what are they in? Or maybe somebody you guys needed to separate and somebody needed to focus on their finances or somebody was feeling stuck in a situation because of money. So that's why they were so fickle with you. They were trying to juggle you. Yeah. Anything else, Spirit? We have the Page of Pentacles and the High Priestess and the King of Swords. It's like somebody's thinking about how they can have a new opportunity with you, but they may not be telling you this at this time. They may not be um, expressing this to you right at this moment. Yeah, They may even want to try to come together with you. Yeah, they want to work on this. They want to compromise. They want to see how you guys can make this work. Apologize. Or I think they, they will message you, but 
We have the Ten of Wands here, though. The end. They're trying to work on closing out some type of cycle. Or it's like they're trying to work on lightening their load. Because this person may feel like they're very overburdened. So it makes it hard for them to have space and time and for you. You know, energy for you. Divinely guided to what? So they, you guys were obviously divinely guided to one another. But... Or they're feeling like they want to come towards you. They're feeling guided towards you. They feel like their heart or their love lies with you. But, or they're being guided to devote themselves to you. Or even like to protect this connection between the two of you. Seven of Cups. But what's the Seven of Cups though? See, I feel like this person, they're, they've been always being guided towards you. But for some reason, this person was entertaining options. What is the, or they were confused. Why? The Nine of Wands and the cleanup. Yeah, this person, yeah, cutting karmic ties, doing the inner work. Dark Knight of the Soul. What does this have to do with my collective, though? The Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, this could be a double earth sign connection. I keep picking up on that. They betrayed you. I don't, that's all I know, guys. Like, even though they knew that you were the one or they were feeling guided towards you, that they felt the strongest pull to come towards you to devote themselves to you to do right by you for some reason this person decided to explore options or entertain other options deal with karmics why did they do this i feel like this person was like not wanting to do the inner work yeah why did this person do this see there it is this is the card i saw when i was sh shuffling so their ego they, they decided to resist the connection out of ego but we have it's time it's time for what mirroring you've shown this person something about themselves it's almost like If you guys have been going within and, and healing and working on yourself, if, since this is your twin, it's like they're mirroring that energy. It's like they can no longer run from change because they ultimately don't want to lose you. But your perspective, your perspective has changed. And it's either like they, they either have you in their life and make the changes or they don't have you at all. And they can stay complacent. It's like that type of so and they don't want to not have you in their life. But because of what you've realized or this new perspective that you've gained, that's possibly making you let this person go. They they feel like they have no other choice but to make these difficult changes that they've been avoiding making, running from. Because ultimately, this person doesn't want to lose you. But yeah, the wheel is turning. There's a change in your love life coming because. Yeah, and you have marriage or a union coming in, something solid, temperance, and it looks like it's a reconciliation. Or they're telling you to continue to be patient. You have a love offer coming in or somebody's coming towards you. Six of swords. Yeah, better times are ahead. Yeah, judgment. And we have the chariot. There will be a renewal. There will be a renewal. Um, this person has some karma to reap, though. But I do see a renewal and things moving forward. Um... Is there anything else? The four of cups and the, yeah, they feel like they're a missed opportunity or losing you will be a missed opportunity with what a catch and four of cups. They could even be rejecting, like nobody's doing it for them. They have, maybe they have other people around them that are offering their love or whatever to them, but they don't really want it from them. See, what is this though? Ten of Cups, Karmic Partner, and the Nine of Cups, and the Inner Conflict. This person's not sure if what will bring them happiness or who. What is the Ten of Cups? Why is Karmic Partner coming out right after the Ten of Cups? The Queen of Cups, okay. The Nine of Pentacles. So they're feeling like they may have kids with this person, but they're feeling like they need to free themselves from this person. Or they're with somebody. What the hell is this? There is some type of family situation with somebody, but they're not committed to them or... <laughs> what is this could be a pisces cancer or a scorpio they're dealing with yeah seven of wands and the death card whatever this weird situation they got going on with this queen of cups that they need to free themselves from that's what's been blocking that ending is going to like, until they end things with this person yeah what about the hierophant there's a lesson that they're supposed to be learning from this situation with this karmic though this person's watching you mm-hmm this person feels like you're giving to somebody else and not giving to them anymore. They're still not even decided that they want to really invest in you and give to you. 
what is their problem with the collective? Like, why are they resisting you so hard? What is it that's keeping them apprehensive about you? What is it that's keeping them apprehensive, Spirit? The Eight of Wands. They kind of feel like things have moved really fast between the two of you. Or, like, they feel like things have progressed way faster than, like, it's too fast. It's too, yeah, it's too soon. It's pride for this person, too. Divinely guided. Yeah. And we have rejection. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's ego and it's pride. Even though the divine is guiding them to do this. Give me one more. What a catch. Um, Wanting to conquer you. Fear of losing you. And we have ripped apart. Mm, this person doesn't like the feelings that they feel for you. Vulnerable in love. Love exposed the truth. King of Pentacles. Mm. Told you it could be a double earth sign connection. Page of Wands. You're going to hear from them saying what? See, what is this? Fleeting love, messages, and excitement. What about money focus? Knight of Pentacles. Maybe they feel like they need to get their finances together more before they approach you. What is their next actions? Justice. They do want to make something right with you. Eight of Pentacles. Or they're working on kind of bringing things into balance. Or they're going to work on trying to make something right with you. Put in the effort to try to make something right. See, what is this having a cup, though? The two of, I feel this person doesn't know how to make something right with you. Tell me more. Yeah, they're kind of, they're trying to figure out what the best, if they have options, they're trying to figure out the Queen of Wands. What about the Queen of Wands and the Hanged Man? There's somebody that they got to let go. It's a Ten of Pentacles to have something. They're going to come towards you and talk about they want something long term with you. But what are they going to do about the Seven of Cups energy though? Because yeah, the moon. Ooh, I don't like that. Pisces energy. They're going to try to hide. They're going to try to move something forward with you and like try to conceal something from you about some some of these options why are they not releasing these options or maybe they're trying to work on releasing somebody yeah seven of swords yeah magician nine of pentacles see be careful with this person they may try to tell you they're single and that they're only dealing with you but i don't think that that's the case yeah three of cups on the back of the deck mm -mm. why are they holding on so tightly to these third parties patience needed surrender to the unknown and we have the ace of cups okay what's i'm doing with the third parties though yeah undecided this person's not sure if they want to take this leap of faith with you and have this new beginning in love with you they do have a lot of emotions for you but they're not sure if they want to act on them all the way yet they're like they're undecided about it yeah this person doesn't know if they want to stop being a player guys that's all it's like they want you they feel like it's crazy this person doesn't know for some of you they don't know if they can stop being lustful like they don't know if they're ready to stop being a, like a player i don't know and sleeping around having multiple options hmm this person knows that it's a good possibility that they'll mess things up with you. Tell me more about this person, spirit. That's all it is. Do I want to just be with one person? Is that what I'm really ready for right now? That's like kind of what I'm hearing. Like they don't know if they're ready to just be with one person. Tell me more. We have wish fulfillment. So it says... This person is everything you've been wishing for and manifesting in your life and so much more. They will bring your deepest desires to reality. I think that's how this person sees you. You guys may see them this way too, but I think that's more how they see you. But we have trick. Oh, they may try to present themselves like they're coming towards you as what you're wishing and desiring. But it says their true intentions are being hidden from you. This person will deceive you into getting what they want from you. See? For their own individual gratification this person knows that you are their wish fulfillment but they also know that they're not really yours you may love this person you may desire a relationship with them but are they who you need them to be or does you, des you deserve no are they coming in to do completely right by you no but are they going to make you think that that's what they're going to do yes which is manipulation yeah they're going to trick you and that you're the only one they have eyes only for you no one else compares they can't picture feeling the way they do for anyone but you clarify only you See, what is it? Observant. The person has a very watchful eye over you and everything you do. They are consumed with wanting to know everything and anything about you. This person's obsessed with you. So if they only want you, then what's the problem? Nightmare. They may appear like they are everything you've been dreaming of, what I say, but you will come to the realization that being connected to them is living a nightmare. Ooh, this person's toxic. Curiosity. You sparked a new curiosity within them and they are wanting to know learn, and learn everything they possibly can about you. This person wants to know what you got going on. We have silenced. Yeah, because they feel like you're being quiet right now or you guys are not speaking to one another. 
They will make you feel at times like your thoughts and opinions don't matter. Yeah, this person's not really, they don't care about what you, how you feel or what you want. Leaving you feeling voiceless in this connection. You're not, they don't like it when you speak up for yourself and make your feelings and wants and things known. We have critics. Ooh, see there, they do have outside influences. I did see the gossip card. There will be external influencers who will be very judgmental of your connection. They may contribute to issues that arise between you both. So there's somebody that's judging the two of you together or the dynamic between the two of you. Why? We have Tara. They just don't want this person. To, they don't want you to have this person. That's all. They will stake claims on you. And should they ever lose you, they will make it very difficult for anyone else to have a chance with you. Ooh. There's going to be some people, I've been picking up on this a lot, but there's some people around them that are going to make it extremely hard for the two of you to be together because they do not want the two of, they don't want you and this person together. So they're going to be doing everything that they can to like break the two of you up, plant thoughts in this person's head, things, and they may already be doing that. They don't want, somebody doesn't want this person to have you, you know, they don't want this per you to have this person. It could be a family member. It could be a friend. It could be an ex. I don't know. We have wounded. This could also be this person, too, who's, like, never going to leave your ass alone. They have deep-rooted wounds that live within them and not worked on. They will contribute in causing complications in the in the connection. So, yeah, until this person heals, and there's definitely some karmic people that they need to cut off around them that do not have good intentions for them. All right, let's see. We have gossip. I knew it, guys. If they hear others talking poorly about you, they will not have your back. See, they may even engage and talk smack with them about you. Give me one second. <laughs> this is irritating me. Give me a second. So, there's people talking shit about you. Or they're talking about talking shit about you to people. Or if, if somebody says something negative about you, they believe it or they take that. I don't know. This person doesn't know how to think for themselves. Wow. Why are they talking? What's the gossip about? Left out? So somebody's mad that you're, they feel like you're leaving them out in the cold. Like they feel like you're abandoning them and they're talking shit about you. This person will trigger abandonment issues within you by excluding you and leaving you out in the cold. This person's going to keep choosing somebody else over you. Family, friends. Yeah. We have childlike. Mm hmm They have a childlike innocence about them that will make it hard for you to stay mad or upset with them for too long. What the heck? So this person has a lot of growing up to do. Lord. And we have suspicious. They haven't played out in love before, and so they hold on to uncertainty if they can if they can truly trust this connection. And so they're punishing you for something that somebody in their past did to them. But we have incompatible. Ooh, too many differences exist between you both. These differences will cause too many challenges and hardships in the connection. Yeah. So they're telling you that right now you and this person are pretty incompatible. You may always be incompatible. This is your twin. You do have a twin flame connection with them. But, you know, sometimes twins, until this person grows and evolves and heals and releases and lets go of certain things and people, the two of you are not going to work out. Like, you guys, it says self-love. They're trying to learn how to fill their own cup before they can truly give it to anyone else. Yeah, until this person learns to love themselves and work on themselves and make changes, they are going through a transformative period right now. And because of things, because of that, things will soon switch up in the connection as well. So, energy vampire and lust, and it says gaslighting. This is the person that you've been dealing with. So, what is this tra this transformation? What is this transformative energy with this person? apologetic oh so this i remember i kept saying they were very egotistical is it because you're in this energy they're starting to realize that they don't have a hold on you like remember that card came out earlier that said that you there's a new like um spark i don't remember which one it was but it was something about like they're they're becoming more uh interested in you more curious about you wanting to know more about what you got like they're captivated you've caught their attention and have and have yet to let it go they feel so drawn to you, but have a hard time explaining why. This is how this person has always felt about you. They are willing to take accountability for the wrongs and ready to step up and offer apologies where needed. Why, though? Their energy will speak to your heart in sweet and loving ways. There is no denying that they will fall for their kind, that she will fall for their kind and giving nature. Interesting. I don't know. What is apologetic? 
We have unawakened, though. So they may come in with an apology, but they have yet to develop awareness of who they truly are at the core and what it is that their soul desires past surface pleasures. Exactly. They just got a lot of growing up to do, guys. We have immaturity. They're currently not on your level and are too immature for you. Exactly. It's no other way to put it. They're like a follower, too. Like, they're very influenced by their friends and their family. They can't think for themselves. Like, they're very childlike. You know how, like, children, they listen to their mom and their dad or whatever. They, they Sometimes they listen to what their friends say. Like, that's how this person is. Yeah. It's like they're immature, but it says they are very methodical. They don't want to miss out on an opportunity with you. See, they know that they're not ready for you, but they also don't want to lose you, but not sure how to progress. Didn't I say that they, I don't feel that they know how to make something right with you or what to do in the situation. So they are trying to come up with a game plan before they make any further movement. So they're planning and strategizing right now and kind of admiring you from afar, not expressing their feelings and emotions to you at this time. It says they have been lurking and keeping a close eye on you because they want you but just aren't sure how to approach the situation. Yep. They don't feel like it's over between the two of you, though. They will leave you all, but see, they will leave you questioning. That's probably how they left you. And I think that this person, with this coming out with strategy, strategic, this person did this on purpose. The way that they left you, they thought that that was going to make you, like, chase them or, like, wait on them or you wouldn't have any closure and you would hold on to them. They will leave you questioning and wondering what went wrong in this connection or why things ended with no explanation. They, that was a, a tactic. Their energy will bring a sense of calmness over you, taking away all of your worries and anxieties and make you feel like you can be at ease and relax in their presence. How are we getting to that point? <sighs> Give me a couple more. Hidden love. And perfect match. And ride or die. What? Impurity. How are we getting to this? We have toxic. One more card. Unforgiving. They aren't someone who easily forgives. And if they feel wronged in any... Didn't I say they feel like you, you betrayed them? By literally walking away from them. When you had every right to walk away from them. If they feel wronged in any way, they are likely to hold on to some type of animosity. So this person's mad at you. Who cares? But look. This person's intentions are to sweep you off your feet and make you fall for them hard and fast. It's like they want you to be all into them, but they want to be able to be a player. They want you to be all about them, but they want to be all about you and everybody else too. They aren't ready to fully settle down and still haven't retired their player ways. Wow. Wow. I don't know. But we have, this is a compatible match. We're balanced. It's like, I don't understand how it's getting to that point. How is it getting to perfect match? Timing. Okay. Makes sense. Perfect last card because I am going to take this over to the extended reading. They're mad at you right now and they're bitter towards you, but they're going to realize at some point that that was unwarranted. It was their fault. You had every right to walk away from them. They weren't trying to do right by you anyways. They weren't ready. But it says at some point, you and this person are going to get on the same level because it says this is a compatible match where balance and harmony can exist in unity. You complement one another perfectly. They have deep feelings for you, but are keeping them buried deep within and hidden from the world. And we have, they are waiting for the, perfect time to make their move on you so this person knows exactly how they feel about you they know exactly what they want with you they're just not taking action on it right now and even if they don't know right at this moment they're going to get to a point where they do know it's like this person is being very strategic is being very strategic